Welcome to this bonus episode of Disease Du Jour on the topic of the Equitrace microchip app that we mentioned last year in episode 32 and Thermochips for Horses. I'm your host, Kim Brown, publisher of Equimanagement. The Disease Du Jour podcast is brought to you in 2021 by Merck Animal Health. Our guest today is Dr. Kevin Corley, a veterinarian who has a PhD and is double boarded in internal medicine and critical care. Dr. Corley is the director and project manager of Equitrace Limited, which produces technology solutions for horses. He also works as an independent specialist consultant in internal medicine and critical care in the main breeding and racing area of Ireland. Dr. Corley graduated from Edinburgh University and completed an internship and PhD in London, a residency in Virginia, was on faculty at the Royal Veterinary College in London for five years. He is a co-editor of the book, The Equine Hospital Manual. Thank you, Dr. Corley, for joining us today on Disease Du Jour to talk about the Equitrace Microchip app. Thank you very much for the invitation to speak. I really appreciate it. Last year in episode 32, we talked about thermochips for horses with Dr. Dorton, and he mentioned tracking information from microchips from a smartphone app. We've had quite a few questions about that app. So in today's podcast, we want to help veterinarians better understand how they can make the best use of the Equitrace app. And as a bonus, Dr. Corley is presenting a webinar that can be found on equimanagement.com on the article about today's podcast. So I am going to turn it over now to Dr. Corley to show us the webinar, and then we can either listen to the podcast or if you're interested, you can go on Equimanagement and watch the webinar. Thank you, Dr. Corley. Thank you very much for inviting me to talk. And today I'm going to talk about Equitrace, which we designed with the idea of unleashing all the power of the microchip. So we're all very, very familiar with the act of scanning a microchip. You scan a microchip, get a number very quick and then you have a 15 digit number. So scan the microchip and you get a 15 digit number. But this 15 digit number isn't that human friendly. I used to be able to remember a few of my friends phone numbers before I had a mobile phone in my pocket that remembered it for me. And now uh, I can't remember too many numbers in a row and I certainly can't remember the 15 digit numbers belonging to each horse that I see. So the microchip is fantastic, but it has its limitations. If we add the TempScan microchips, then we get this fantastic feature of temperature in addition to the identity. And the fact that those two come together is even better because we know that temperature belongs to that horse. So what we're trying to do at Equitrace is take that information and build on it and put it in more human friendly ways. And the trick to that is to add the power of a smartphone. Now we all carry in our pockets this amazing computer. And so what we wanted to do was take the the data from the microchip and pair it with data um, held in a mobile phone so that you can simply by scanning a horse's microchip get not only information um, about its identity and temperature but also a pocket diary of everything that happens with that horse. So let's talk about identity first. Now, you might think that horses don't get mixed up very often, but it's not true. And one of the inspirations for this app was working as an emergency clinician. We would have clients who would drag mud covered yearlings in from the field that were colicking, and they would say to us, can you scan the horse's microchip? So they would bring in a mud covered yearling and we would scan the microchip for them. And then they would take that 15 digit number, phone the office, wake someone out of their bed in the middle of the night. And that person had to go to the office and search through 
all the passports, all the documents for the horses, trying to match that 15 digit number to a particular horse, identified the owner, and finally we could get permission for surgery. And all the time this horse is throwing itself around, desperately needing surgery. And it wasn't just our studs who have had problems. This is from October last year, and this is a story about the trainer, Aidan O'Brien. So Aidan O'Brien had two horses in one of the high profile races in England called the Phillies Mile, uh, one called Mother Earth and one called Snowfall. And while they were being saddled up, they got the wrong number on the wrong horse. And the two horses ran at each other. And it meant that they thought a 50 to one chance had come third, but it was actually its stable mate who was eight to one. And this caused all sorts of trouble, both for the trainer who got fined and also for the racing authorities. And it's by no means unique that this happened. So there are a number of different times when horses have been mixed up. There's examples from Australia, from the UK, from Ireland, and from Louisiana, Remington Park. My favorite one is the stallion that got lost in the post. Dubai Excellence and Samud were both in a new market quarantine yard, and Dubai Excellence was destined for Australia. Um, he was a very good stallion and going to Australia, and Samud was less well thought of and was destined for Ukraine. Unfortunately, they found out that the wrong horse was in the wrong country and trying to get back the excellent stallion from Ukraine proved quite difficult. And I do believe he had quite a few illegitimate foals in Ukraine before he was finally sent back. Now, if these high stakes, high profile incidences of the races or moving a stallion result in mistaken identity. Imagine how many times it happens in the training yard in the stud. And we actually know it happens in the training yard because the drugs positives, a number of drugs positives, the trainer says that the wrong horse received the drug and that's what caused the drugs positive. And as we know, that can stop the horse winning the race and create a fine for the trainer and bring racing into disrepute. So we're very focused on identifying the horse, right horse, right treatment, right horse, right transport. So how do we do that? Well, scan the horse's microchip and instantly the app will show you the horse identity. And if you have a biothermal microchip in the horse, it will also show you the horse's temperature. That temperature is graphed and can also be listed. The app will also show you the highest temperature in the last seven days, the baseline morning temperature, baseline evening temperature, and the raw average temperature to help you interpret any temperature. And on this example, you can see a clear spike occurred on, on this horse. Um, I've changed the name, but otherwise this is real data showing when this horse had a fever spike. You can also list the temperatures and you can um, email the temperatures off for someone else to see. Every time you scan the horse, the GPS of the phone is recorded and this is plotted on a satellite or a map image. This means that, for example, if you're turning a horse out to a field, scan it as it goes into the field and then you have a record of which horse is in which field. You can make notes and each note is time and date stamped and stamped with the person who made the note. And this allows quick communication on the farm. 
You can also upload images and PDFs to a particular horse's file. So anytime you're on the road or away um, from the farm, you can instantly get the blood results, the Coggins result, um, the x-rays you can have on your phone there filed under the horse's name. So let's look at a couple of those features in more detail. The first one is temperature and we know that labour costs are important on farms. Everyone is short of time and you can really get the temperature amazingly quickly with the biothermo microchip scanner and app combination. So here in we've got two videos in the bottom video, the temperature has been got in 2.25 seconds. Uh, with a microchip scanner and in the top video we're still going uh, trying to take a rectal temperature on this foal. It's a fairly well behaved foal but we're still waiting and this is actually one of the causes of inaccuracies in rectal temperature in that the people are, tend to not be patient enough or the foal jumps off the thermometer and people withdraw it too quickly. So in this particular incident, incident the uh, foal took uh, 55 seconds to have its rectal temperature taken. And here's real data from a client of mine using the app, and every day they get between 17 and 20 temperatures in less than two minutes. If you take an average of three minutes for a rectal temperature, that means on a barn of 80 horses, it takes two people four hours to get every single temperature. Compare that with getting 20 temperatures in two minutes, or you know, you'd have to go to the next barn, so it, you, you can easily get all the temperatures of 80 horses in less than half an hour with the app and we've seen that from our clients. One thing about the biothermo microchips, there's a new study out from Australia which suggests that if you put it in the muscle just below the nuchal ligament rather than in the nuchal ligament itself, the temperature is very close to central temperature, uh, temperature measured in the central vein and actually after exercise is more accurate than rectal temperature. Communication. So the app is built for teams to work around horses and everything on the app is instantly sent via the internet to other users on the farm, other authorized users on the farm. So if there's no internet connection at the time you take a recording, the app still works, the app will still identify the horse, and then the app will transmit as soon as it has an internet connection again. So the app works with both iPhone and Android. Here is a little video example of the app on Android, and it works exactly the same on Android as it does on iPhones. Here's a little video of the app in action filmed on an iPhone. So here we see the temperature graph and here we see the identity of the horse, the location, and here you see you can be in your office and get the data of the horse. And some of our clients, even with one horse, are using it this way. If they work in the city and their horse is out at a yard, they're using the app to check if the horse is well and if the supplements and other things they've asked for have been given to the horse. The data is available in various formats in the app, 
And one way is that you can list the data. So you can select a date range that you want to look at the data over and just simply select it. And then you can look at all the temperatures of the horses. Each horse is clickable, so you can go straight through to a horse's ID page if you want to get further details. This is data that one of our clients kindly shared with us, real data from a check on the 7th and 8th of January this year. And you can see once again, they've got a lot of uh, temperatures very quickly. Um, I've covered the names obviously for their confidentiality, but you can see that you can look down all the lists of temperatures and you can quickly spot anything that's a problem. Today's Disease to Shore podcast is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the makers of prestige vaccines, Banamine, Panicure, Regimate, Protozil, and other trusted equine health solutions. Merck Animal Health works for you and for horses. Learn more about Merck Animal Health's comprehensive portfolio of products, as well as their ongoing investment in our industry, profession, and community at MerckAnimalHealthUSA.com. You can also view the notes over a set period of time, and these are controlled by, uh, these are ordered by the name of the horse. So you can quickly look through and see what each horse has received. If the horse has no name, it also lists the dam's name and the year of birth. This information can also be exported from the app and looked at um, in your favorite spreadsheet program. Works in Excel, Open Office, Numbers, whichever spreadsheet program you like best. Documents and photos, you can upload them from Dropbox, iCloud Files or Photos. Here is I don't know quite why we want to add a photo of a swan to a particular horse, but here we are adding photo of a swan. You can write a description so you know what's what. And uploads it to the app and there it is and it's available for everyone. Now if I go into that horse's file, I can find the horse via find horse, go into the horse's file and there is the document ready to look at. One person on each farm pays the subscription and has complete control of the data. So if you have 10, 20, 30 people working on a farm, only one person has to pay the subscription and they have complete control of the data. They can invite other people to be able to see the data by sending um, a SMS message to them that will have a link in it that allows them access to the data, or they can give the name that they've used for the farm to someone else. And if someone else enters that, they will get a little pop-up asking them to either accept or reject that person as being able to share the data. If someone leaves the farm, they can uh, immediately be removed from the authorized people and that will mean that they instantly lose access to the data. All the data is encrypted prior to sending it to the cloud server. It's encrypted on the cloud server so that even uh, though I have all the passwords and permissions for the cloud server, I can't read anyone else's data because it's all encrypted with a private key to each farm. So the data is very secure and is controlled by the person who, who's in charge of the app for that farm. If that person leaves the farm, control can also be transferred to someone else. 
for vets, there's the option to be a member of more than one farm. So you can switch between different farms within the app and those farms have, um, you can see each of those farms individual data, but those farms can, cannot see each other's data. So if you go from one farm to another farm, they can both maintain their records privately and although you can see both, they cannot see each other's. We're just adding this feature where in addition to the GPS, GPS tells you which barn it's in, but not necessarily what's stable. We just have added and is in beta testing and a, the ability to also list the stable manually so that if you have an outbreak of strangles or something, you can look very carefully at what's been in what's stable and have a complete record of everything that the horse has been in. Now I'm going to give you a sneak preview of the exciting new feature that is in advanced beta testing. We expect this to be released um, as an addition to the existing app within the next uh, four weeks. And this is the ability to list treatments. So scan the horse's microchip and you get a list of treatments that are due for that horse. Right horse, right treatment. Here's a video of it in action. So scan the horse's microchip. Horse's name comes up. It tells you what drug to give. You can mark it as given. And then the app will show you that. You don't have to manually enter um, drugs, names, although you can, because if you scan the micro, uh, the barcode on the box of the app, it will automatically grab the app. Furthermore, it will give you guidance on when not to compete. So but you can enter different sets of rules. You can choose a different set of rules which applies to your horse and it will give you guidance as to when not to compete. So just to go through that again, you can, when you scan the horse's microchip, you get a list of drugs which are due. There is a treatment diary which you can list the drugs which are due. You can sort them by time, by name of the animal, by drug to give and by stall. When you go to enter a drug, you can either enter it by scanning the micro, uh, the barcode on the box so that you don't have to do any entry at all, or you can start typing and it will suggest entries for you. It will also give you the um, guidance as to a suggested withdrawal time from competition based on the competition rules. If you've treated the animal with any drug previously, it will list those so the one touch button to treat it with the same drug again. It knows all the rules, so here's a little uh, example where if you scan uh, the barcode from Banamine, uh, New York thoroughbred guidance suggested withdrawal time is 48 hours. However, if you've given uh, phenobutazone, butazolidine, there I'm just giving it. And now I go to put in banamine. Now for the same rules for New York thoroughbred, the suggested withdrawal time is six days to avoid a stacking violation. So for joint injections, you can add, so add drug, scan um, the drug. In this case, it's hyaluronic acid. Say which joint it's going to be injected in. In this case, it's the left for fetlock. And it will give you the withdrawal time 
and it knows rules like that fetlock injections are 30 days in California, that some states have 14 day withdrawals for all corticosteroids uh, as a minimum, etc. For drugs which you're giving to a batch of animals, so typically wormers and vaccines, you can create a list of drugs that you're giving and then you can choose reminders for repeat treatments and then you can choose the horses and you can filter the horses by the age of the horse, the sex of the horse, and sort them by name, dam, year or stall. So you can get a list of horses which match the criteria you set, or you can just search for them by name and create a list of horses that are due to receive that same treatment. So typical use would be all the horses in this field are going to get vaccinated and you can set it up very quickly. So that's the sneak preview of the medications part, which is just in final checking that all the data is correct, etc. And there is a white label version of this app, which is for the US Trotting Association. So the US Trotting Association have this app available for their members. It links straight into their database and pulls up the identity of trotting horses. The app is called USTA Chip ID, and it is a bespoke version of this app for the US Trotting Association. So in summary, Equitrace is about identity, making sure that you have the right horse, that the horse has been checked, that the right horse goes to the, uh, the right drug goes to the right horse. Equitrace gives you the location of each scan so that you know when, where and when every horse was scanned. With biothermo or temp scan microchips, Equitrace gives you the temperature of the horse that comes together with identity. So there's no mistakes in writing down. There's no mistakes in um, measuring the rectal temperature instantly and quickly comes to the app and it gives you data to manage the farm. This is a video we recorded in Kentucky with Dr. Dorton just talking a little bit more about the app. So this is Ramsey Farm where Dr. Dorton is the vet and Hi, I'm Alan Dorton. I'm an equine veterinarian here in central Kentucky and I've been here since 1990. So it's my 29th year here in Kentucky. I started using the biotherm chips about six years ago on the recommendation of some friends of mine at the University of Kentucky. Most of the foals we put them in, usually the day they're born, before they leave the foal install, when I do the initial examinations on the foals. This way there can be you know, no doubt as to the proper identity of each foal because we've had as many as 200 foals here in one year, and there have been several occasions when we've had five foals born in one night. So identification and keep them from getting mixed up has been pretty important to us here. I started using the uh, Equitrace app about five or six months ago. I didn't really get here in time to use much during the breeding season and the foaling season, but I've used it a lot since then. I use it kind of like a portable medical records deal uh, where I enter each, uh, each time I work on the horse uh, if it's sick, if I give it uh, vaccines, if I do any lab tests on it, uh, you know, it's just like a running record individualized to that horse, and I can easily pull it up on my smartphone. So I've been very pleased with the accuracy and also the way that the app can track each individual horse's temperature so we can see a spike and then we know we might have a problem. I've been extremely happy with the chips and extremely happy with the app and pretty much coming up with new ways to use it 
every day. Thank you very much. And our website is www.equitrace.app. E Q U I T R A C E dot A P P. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Corley. Uh, that I think will answer a lot of questions that we've had sent to us from veterinarians around the world interested in trying to use this app and use the the very large array of ways that you can not only put data in but get data out and share it which a lot of the vets say that they're excited that all this can be done. I mean, the temperature is, I mean, that in of itself would make the app fabulous using those thermochips, but to be able to, to do the things. And then when you talked about the sneak preview of what's coming next with the treatment and so forth, that's, that's pretty exciting. We're excited. Yes. Yeah. We're excited by that. And, we again want to tell our audience that uh, Dr. Corley presented a webinar that goes along with this podcast that you're more than welcome to go watch. And we, we do appreciate uh, your patience. We, we are doing from different continents this morning as Dr. Corley is traveling. So we had just a little bit of a glitch in trying to get one section of the podcast and uh, webinar presented. But thank you, Dr. Corley, for sticking with us. And we think, want to thank all of us, uh, all of our guests for listening to us, this bonus episode of Disease Du Jour. And don't forget, go to Equa Management to this podcast episode and watch that webinar. Thank you for listening to Disease Du Jour and a special thanks to our 2021 sponsor, Merck Animal Health. We invite you to listen and rate previous and future episodes of Disease Du Jour on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, or wherever you like to listen to podcasts. And take our survey so we know how you better you know, we can better serve you with the podcast. Or if you have any questions or suggestions like veterinarians did with the previous podcast we had, which is why we're having this bonus one, you can send an email to kbrown at aimmedia.com. Disease Du Jour is a production of the Equine Podcast Network, an entity of the Equine Network, LLC.